Hello everybody and welcome back to another last episode. This is extended, right? Yes. So you know what the deal is. I'm sorry for the things I usually edit out and in the full version of my reaction, I can't. Uh, this is season 4, episode 13, There's No Place Like Home, part 2. This is the beginning of the season, right? The flash forward that we had. We have season. to go back. And then you show up here with an obituary for Jeremy Bentham. Who? So, can we turn off? He learned so freaking fast. This is a tripwire. Move it and boom. Ooh, uh... Hey! Oh my god. Whoa, 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 you're good right there. Do they speak through the trees and the plants? Because that's exactly what it feels like. And they're fucking immortal. Like, they've been the same age for years and years and years. So, a couple of guns are not gonna scare them off. Run! What? Run! Ben, stay close, run! You're training him. Oh, ben, seriously? Richard! Thank you. Cute eyes. <laughs> now you're one of us. One of us. You and Saeed have a safe journey back. No, 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 no. Everybody else. So we can go. All the way across country, just so. No, wait a minute. That's the same actor. I won't do anything crazy. Cause he looks the same, but hella grown. It's not the same actor, right? The nose is pretty sim. Like, no, look at that. The nose is like the same. Well, again, I'm pretty bad with faces. Dude. <laughs> Nobody did. Sorry. Well, I went kind of crazy, if you didn't notice. Do you know who did come see me? Jeremy Bentham. Who the fuck is Jeremy Bentham? Because it's the only way to protect everyone that didn't come back. Like Sawyer and Locke? He stayed? No, he died, right? You're dead. Yeah. He wanted to die, so... I want you to... Reconsider leaving the island, Jack. I would like you to stay. Living in a beach like with no bed and like... That's right. Someone just had to rip out my you appendix in the freaking on, beach. Then. No. You like knowledge is gonna eat you alive from the inside out. Oh, and it did! And it did! Oh, damn! And Ben is the one that allowed them to go, so and the plane is his. Better. Laying under the water. Everything that happened since we... No one needs to protect it. It moves. It's freaking Neverland. It's a place where miracles happen. It's alive. Well, obviously, and, and plants are alive. You don't believe that, Jack. You, you know can't believe saying? that. Lie to them, Jack. If you do it half as well as you lie to yourself... Oh. <laughs> We're gonna be okay. We're not the. No, wait, no they, yeah, they are. With me when he can be up here with you. It's just weird, you know, after all that time you spent trying to get back here. What do you mean, get back here? What do I mean? What? He's talking to the dead. She was he. <gasps> Is she an other? Wait, wait, wait! There were scientists and shit uh, when when Rousseau got here, right? So what if she's one of them? What? Oh, wait. D. What? A 
Okay, hold on. This can't be Dharma moving the the island and shit. Because the people, the others, were here first. They are like the natives of the island, right? It is Dharma, but what the fuck? Space and time. This is the vault. Constructed adjacent to a pocket You're of what suddenly missing with space and time? What? Exotic matter. Or is it doctor when you need him? So they mess with time and space and that's why Desmond was having all this like regressions. You're talking about what I think you're talking about. Uh, that's how you're calling in Spanish. Yes. This is killing my theory of the island being alive. Because if there's all this metal you're thing and the moving thing. Yeah, I have my weapon back. Then the island is not alive. It's, it's a thing that someone created. The Dharma people. But then how do you explain the, the natives that are ready? Sage's skin is glowing. I'm, I'm guessing that's freaking sweat, but he looks gorgeous. Take it easy. Saeed. Oh no, that's the back. sound. I took the Zodiac from the freighter. Safe? Oh no, I can't take beach. it, I can't take it. The goosebumps. Let's go for a ride! Wait, what is Sawyer doing in the chopper? Too good to be true. What? We're losing fuel! Look outside! Tell me if you see anything! Helicopter peeing the fuel. Sawyer doesn't jump. I'd feel a hell of a lot better for a few hundred pounds lighter. Oh, poor Hurley, come on. He's gonna jump. Oh, god damn it. Oh no. He's gonna jump. And in front of Jack. Well, whatever, he's gonna jump. Sawyer? The sharks, though. <laughs> the pilot's face is like... <laughs> Seriously? Okay, can we just take a second? He did that to save Claire. Okay, I keep calling her Claire, goddammit. Would it make any sense if I told you I was still looking for where I was born? Mm, no. Is this where she was born? Yes. You're not coming. I promised I wouldn't leave till I got everyone here safely off the island. Relax. He's not, not coming back, back, though. Okay. Are you ready? Oh, Vincent! They cannot leave Vincent. Did we call it? A dead man's trigger, Ben. My heart stops beating. It sends a little signal to the 500 pounds of C4 that I've got hardwired. So that's what that thing was. Well, John Locke. Never really been one to talk. you do? You just killed everybody on that boat. You don't need three fucks about it. So? Alright, we need to talk about how Sawyer jumped off of the helicopter for Kate. I mean, Obviously for Hurley too, I guess. <laughs> Not so much for Jack, but like to save Kate was the main thing, I'm guessing, that was on his mind when he decided to jump off 
of the chopper. He loves her. Okay, because he wanted to leave the island too. I don't like he never said he wanted to stay. Right? Uh, and Daniel is not coming back for nobody else. I and I hope they don't leave freaking Vincent behind. Please just don't. And this girl, I don't know her name, the blonde slash redhead, I don't know. She is, she was born in the island. That's what I could understand, right? What? Girl, this show is just, it's so crazy and I am so close to ending it and I don't want to, I don't want to. Like I'm starting to get emotional already because I know it ends in, in season six, right? I'm finishing season four, so I just have two seasons to go. And like, I don't, when I finish a show that I really like, anime or whatever, manga, anything, anything, a book, anything that I really like, I feel like I, I, I lose something inside. Like, I feel so depressed for at least a couple of days or more. Like, I just lost someone I loved, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's stupid and weird. But I'm, that's what I'm feeling. Like I know it's getting close to the end, and I know I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose someone really soon. And it's ah, uh, I don't want to. I don't want to. Anyways, whether you watch this full extended early access or on my YouTube channel, thank you so much for watching this episode with me. And as always, I'm Sarah Miana, and I'll see you in my next video. I am Peter Pan, I'll never be a man If you never wanna grow, take my hand I'll take you to Neverland I am Peter Pan